<laughs> Welcome back to Block Integrity. It's your host Gizmo. And it's your boy LJ. Appreciate y'all showing up for our uh, second episode of season four. We gotta keep saying that. Keep the seasons right. <laughs> keep track of it. Yeah. So it's finally the holidays. Well, finally December. It's in there. It's uh, yeah. This damn year went past real quick. The last two holidays of the year. Yeah. No, one or two. Yeah. Christmas, Christmas, and New Year's. Thing. Is New Year's actually this year? Or is it next year? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it's the, the Christmas, the last holiday. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I'm going to be outside. It is going to change years when we kick it. Yeah, you know, like, change shit around here. But yeah, uh, yeah we're here in America. That is. Being ran by the worst Pokemon player <laughs> in the fucking game, President Redenbacher. Like this nigga is. I mean, I mean, happy she's home. Glad she's home. You know what I'm saying? I wish her the best. Don't let the shit that's about to happen get to you, cause niggas gonna be saying some shit. But be happy you home. But I'm just to President Redenbacher. I ain't got no emotions for her being happy. Fuck the that. Fuck, nigga. <laughs> the fuck. Fuck that. This nigga that traded the Big Bambino card. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, bro. It, he he didn't fuck oh, up. Oh, my God, man. He said about five, ten years. Not even that. This nigga let the merchant of oh, the death. Didn't they, make a, didn't they make a movie about this nigga? Yep. God of, what was it? God of War? Man. God of War. Nicholas man. Cage played him, I think. We know when Nicholas Cage play a motherfucker. Man. He got to be a bad motherfucker. Stone cold, nigga. Nigga. <laughs> Stone cold. Nigga. Let her let somebody out. I mean, come on, bro. What was that lecture season? He trying yeah. to get back in her seat. Well, she probably came out. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this dude. I ain't got nothing against gay motherfuckers and all that shit, but nigga, that was the stupidest fucking move ever. <laughs> the fuck wrong with this nigga, man? I don't know what they gotta do about gay. She gay. You know, Duh. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers <laughs> gonna go, you know how motherfuckers go to try to dissect the whole situation. Nigga ain't got nothing against y'all motherfuckers, but that's some dumb ass shit. They shouldn't have fucking traded the merchant the fucking this nigga selling big guns. Big boy guns. Missiles. Nigga. He ain't yeah. selling nines and three eighties. Glocks and licks. <laughs> Stay none of that bullshit. <laughs> nah. Ain't no stick up pistols. Uh, All the, and they clean. Ain't nothing coming back to nobody. But somebody that got caught with a dad pen. This nigga's an arms dealer. What she gonna do now? She gonna play basketball? She better go. She better play right. in the NBA. <laughs> For her, I finally heard her talk too. I'm like, she need to be in the NBA. Man, look, bro. How, this nigga selling guns, and you gonna trade this nigga for a motherfucker that broke the law carrying weed? Yeah. Let's just let's lay it out there. If this nobody else gonna say it, she did break the law. Yeah. Now, her punishment probably wasn't a little harsh, but we ain't got to patrol over what they laws do. You, you know in a different exactly. country breaking yeah. their laws. Exactly. We, you know what I'm saying? It's whatever, whatever. Right. Everybody knows. When you go out of America, you got to follow their fucking rules. I can understand diplomatic immunity, but you ain't mm-hmm. living there. You breaking their rules. Mm-hmm. So, you can't be, you can be mad at the outcome, but, you know, it's kind of put herself in that situation. Man. Mm-hmm. Now you bring back motherfucking goddamn... Every super villain from <laughs> fucking yeah, we just lost the Power Ranger man. You gonna let this nigga out? <laughs> right. Who? Man. What help we got now? Ninja Turtles. Man. The fuck man. This nigga got to say, oh, y'all gonna let me out? Okay. Nigga, and walk right past it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Nigga, yeah. Oh my god. I'm going where my people's at. Man, we about to fuck some shit up. Have fun. So, that nigga gonna be like, hey, get that uh phone out the box in the ground back here with all them numbers in it. Man. Ain't <laughs> tell me. Hey, yeah, add some water. It's time to make some moves, nigga. Well, I think it's funny. They said uh, she cut her signature locks because she was ready, getting ready for the winter. Like, nah, nigga. She cut her locks because she was about to start getting busy, nigga. She was about to start booty footing motherfuckers. And that's the only way they can get her to pull that damn hair. That's what I think. Yeah. She's like, gonna be on her prison shit. That's like, oh, I'm being here and cut these motherfucking long ass dreads off. And you see how many of y'all bitches can punch this high. Bro. And then they be talking about athletes and shit, talking about uh, who said what or why ain't Brian and all them trying to look out or say nothing about the situation. My thing is, if you are an athlete in America and you're supposed to be a professional or you're supposed to be carrying yourself as a professional, you shouldn't be doing stupid shit carrying drugs on you in a different country. You know what? All this shit is going on in America making it seem like, to me, not, you know what I'm saying, to me, like, we're not as, 
powerful as we thought we were. Because all this LGB, like you said, the homosexuals, they should have brought up something, some kind of thing to get her out. Women, black women, they should have brought up something to get her out. You know what I'm saying? Some kind of protest, some kind of something like that. But they did a little bit about it. They spoke on that at one of the award shows on BET, but... Nobody watch BET award <laughs> shows no more, nigga. <laughs> That's YouTube and that shit. Man. Right, right. What they're saying, like all this, they talking about all this shit, talking all that shit in the streets. I want to get down to it. One of y'all's all over there. Y'all bust no, you know what I'm saying? Bust no grapes. You ain't kicking up no dust. Man. But we just, we're, we're local, baby. That's pretty much what it was. Like, if it happened anywhere in America, I'm pretty sure the LBG and them and black women and all that would have rolled for. It, but that's way past. This is Russia. Rest alone getting old, nigga. <laughs> so, yeah, we ain't got nobody go over there to, to defend us. You know what I'm saying? And plus, they got missiles ready for us. So, nigga, I don't know. But and he gonna let they big homie come home. Big homie, nigga. Nigga. This nigga got yeah, a okay. track record for doing some shit. If, you, if they make a movie about you and you ain't dead, nigga, you gotta be doing some shit. Mm, for real. Think about that. This nigga is not dead. He's still alive and they made a movie about this man. I'm just saying, everybody be prepared for what the fuck about to happen, if it's about to happen. I just feel it, but you know, you get Russia back their arms, you know, you're gonna trade it for a motherfucker who forgot they weed was in the bag. You simple motherfucker. <laughs> I don't agree with the, I, I, like I said, I'm glad she's home. I'm, I'm, uh, I hope she don't yeah, take this shit to heart. Hope she don't, you know what I'm saying, let all the bullshit happen and then get to her, but man. This is for Redenbacher. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? You could have gave him two motherfucking uh, just regular Coke dealers. Could have doubled up on that. You're gonna get him one bad motherfucker. Don't give him the. The nigga. The thug. You didn't give him the second in command, gave him the nigga. I'm about to call that nigga. See if I can give me a couple of ARs and some missiles. I ain't calling that nigga. I still, <laughs> I still live in America, goddammit. <laughs> well, shit, it don't matter. You let the nigga out, you might as well call him up. He's the I'm going to enjoy this shit. Volcanoes erupted as soon as I nigga got out. You see that shit in Hawaii? <laughs> Volcanoes erupted in Hawaii and shit. <laughs> nigga said, oh, yeah. Jay oh, Leto got set on yeah. fire. <laughs> <laughs> like, dead they like, bro, everything going wrong when this nigga get let out of jail. Bro, it's just so bad. I don't know, bro. I'm glad you're out, sir. <laughs> I don't want no problems. <laughs> like these presidents be letting motherfuckers out and they go and do some dumb shit. Like it just don't. Oh, man, it's like when Kodak Black got pardoned and then he got out and got caught with pills and shit. Like hey, the president just be letting motherfuckers out doing stuff. Like that's it. You got motherfuckers going to jail every day for nothing, and these motherfuckers is playing. I'll trade you. For, him, for this, for that. That's just the world going to shit, man. So you hear about this new shit. There ain't no new shit. It's the weirdest shit I've heard in my 40 years of living. Yes, I'm 40 years old. Break the news. But in my 40 years of living, I've never heard this shit. <laughs> <laughs> a motherfucker went to the bar with his bitch. Tried to make another nigga pay for sex with his bitch. The nigga said, nah. So the dude just takes off on him. Beat the shit out of him. Kicked him in the head. Damn near beating him to death. For not wanting to fuck his bitch. Yeah, for not wanting to fuck his bitch. Beat him with a stool and all that shit. Blood so everywhere. Nice, man. It gets a lot worse, my nigga. This is a bar in Houston. This nigga, while he was knocked out, he raped a nigga at the bar. What the fuck? The man raped the other nigga though he was unconscious. <laughs> at the bar. I like shit, I want shit. <laughs> that, like, he got 83 years, 80 something years in prison for that shit. He said, the victim said that he got beat in the head so bad he don't even remember it. Like, of oh, course man. he gonna say that shit, but niggas have it at the bar, bro, so. That nigga should be the jails punching bag. I'm like, what kind of shit? This the way of the world, bro. It's like, what the fuck is going on through people's heads? I don't know. That nigga should be tortured every hour <laughs> while he's in the pen, nigga. Put this nigga in a torture chair and every year made that's mad get to punch on him for like five minutes. Yeah, I seen that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Is that my, my reading is right? I'm like, this can't be right. It gotta be a typo. I'm fucking just fucked up. I heard mm -hmm. in Texas you can uh say you wanted to fight a nigga and, and as long as you say it in a certain way, they let it happen. Like, if you got beef with a motherfucker, be like, shit, let's go out here. I forgot the term. Take it outside. Yeah, like, you, you, come on, let's go out here. And if nigga agree to fight you, 
police won't do nothing until a motherfucker get hurt or get knocked out. I think that's just text, period. They just know for being just rumple, rumple yeah. ready, rumble tumble. They should make that a law everywhere. Like you can actually call a nigga out like, come on, let's go out here and throw fist cuffs. You agree to throw fist cuffs? All right, let's go out here and do this. Cause I think both of the niggas gotta agree. And then they go out there and, and swap it out. Dang, that can happen everywhere. Texas is tougher. Well, mm -hmm. New York, they, they get good. But Texas is like, with them hands, don't fight a Texan, man. He will be fighting a Texan. <laughs> like, they get to the next day. Cause they fight. Yeah, exactly. So, Dang. I'm cool on that. Like, everybody from Texas get peace for me. They ain't just popping out. Except for that, triggers. except for they have raping niggas at the bar. Had too many zemas. Uh, question to you little young niggas, all right? Say, y'all in a function or whatever, right? And your man's provoked a fight. And he getting his ass beat. Would you, and, and you got your gun on you. Would you get out and start shooting? Or would you get out, weigh the pistol to clear the area so your mans can get in the car and y'all can ride out? Cause that's the, that's like the big question for niggas nowadays. Like why do motherfuckers just assume, just start shooting their guns after they homeboy and got their ass beat? When you can just clear the area, wave your pistols just to get niggas off of them and get your man to safety. Why do niggas just automatically just start busting? Cause shit, that's still a crime, nigga, if you bring your gun. I'm saying though, but you won't be going to jail for murder. <clears throat> they can bust it there. Yeah, they can do that too. Yeah, they can bust it there. I ain't saying shooting the crowd, hell nah, but. If you hear somebody getting packed out, and it's like, okay, it's two of us. It's about six, seven of them motherfuckers. Ain't no way we both gonna win this motherfucker. So let me pop one in there and get niggas to scatter. Yeah. Know, they give me some time to get the fuck up. But, but that ain't how that work. They can just get out and start busting. At people. At people. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so why why do y'all think, why is that a cool thing to do when, you know, everybody got guns? Okay. Everybody has a firearm. So instead of it, it you gotta think about the situation. You see your niggas fighting and shit, y'all. You know, a lot of shit you can't die, you know, dissect when it's happening. But majority of the niggas that shoot know what's going on. That's why they start shooting. Cause they shoot at the people that they shooting at. But like, your niggas get out and start provoking motherfuckers cause they know you got the gun. And he get his ass whooped. <laughs> y'all need to stop shooting motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. And just get the niggas off of your homeboy. Cause Mm -hmm. Obviously, your nigga couldn't fight. The only reason why he started to shit is because y'all got guns. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's always a smart motherfucker in the clique of niggas. You smart motherfuckers need to speak up a little more because y'all niggas is getting motherfuckers shot just for being quiet. And all you gotta say is, hold on, bro. That's all you gotta say. You ain't Some gotta get no. just don't listen, bro. Some but niggas ain't gonna listen to the reason at the moment. Yeah, but you ain't got to get no big ass speech or nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it all take one person to say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's it. Mm -hmm. Everybody on go because they got guns. And you know it's a nigga in your clique that's straight up bitch made. Everybody got a nigga that they fuck with, but you know he can't fight. Mm -hmm. They always want to start barking and acting crazy because he know y'all got guns. Mm -hmm. Y'all niggas need to speak up and be real with y'all selves, man. And quit just start, quit shooting shit up for no reason. Yeah, it's pretty fucking much. There's ain't much to do out here anyway. We're gonna turn into a wild west. Everybody gonna be drinking and shooting everybody. Yeah. It's why don't you but, stand up for your squad and quit being so damn stupid? But like I said, if you're in a situation like that, it's like two, three of y'all, you're outnumbered. You know you ain't gonna get, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna do nothing but fuck yourself up. You gotta burn them. Just pop in there. Just pop. You know what I'm saying? Just don't shoot nobody, but then. You do that, somebody gonna probably try to shoot your ass. They know you got a gun. Yeah. That's another thing. That's why, uh, you, that's why you gotta be like, hold on, I ain't trying to, you know, but some niggas ain't trying to hear that shit. As soon as they see that gun, they, they show. Yeah, we're on our age, nigga. That's why, that's why you said young niggas. We're on our age. Yeah, if yeah. they getting packed out, we can break up a fight just by like, all right, man, chill, chill, just run up and chill. Do that shit. We can do that. Y'all young niggas, y'all sissified. <laughs> y'all got too much uh, weak pride. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't take an ass whooping. I hate to sound like the movie, but, but <clears throat> yeah, y'all shoot up in the air, then shoot everybody. No, y'all shoot everybody first. Yeah. Then run out of bullets and don't hit nobody. You know what I'm saying? Then you kill everybody. Now you're not beefing for the rest of the year. Niggas ain't got some heart. Shit. It don't take heart to, sh to shoot a nigga. That's why I say, y'all know who y'all, y'all know 
Y'all know your what friends is hoes and which ones ain't. Just, just keep it real. It's, they call them crash dumps. Yeah. Nowadays. Yeah. It'd it be four niggas in the car. You might have two real niggas. And then you got a nigga that you know is, you know, I don't know if I can fight with this nigga. And that's a nigga that's going to get everybody fucked over because they know you got the gun. So it's just, fuck these niggas, man. Fuck these niggas. And all it takes is one motherfucker to say, chill out. That's it. No, man, chill out. That's it. Right, that's all you gotta say, just <clears throat> calm down. I know when beef, beef, you know what I'm saying, happens, it happens. Mm-hmm. It happens, but just be a fucking man about the situation. Certain shit just don't need gunplay. That's true. Certain shit, you don't even have to pull full force. Like, cause nigga, we'll stomp a nigga out in a heartbeat and run off <laughs> and laugh about it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> like, the worst thing we did in our generation is, well, no, that was an American X, American History X, when they got that curve stop. That's the worst thing we can think about doing to a nigga. Now I'm off of shooting and shit. Innocent bystanders getting killed. Yeah, so y'all need to chill the fuck out. To be honest, I'm getting tired of carrying my goddamn guns. Like yeah. Everywhere I go, I want to chill out, wear sweatpants and shit everywhere. But nah, I got to have a burger with me all the goddamn time. Cause mm-hmm. Even though I might not be in some shit, the nigga uh, three feet next to me might be in some shit. And y'all niggas can't shoot. Can't want it. So I'm making sure y'all niggas ain't shooting at me or I'm not making any fucking home. I shouldn't be living like that, man. I'm a fucking citizen, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never hurt nobody, baby. I'm just out here. But I gotta, you know what I'm saying? It's like defensive driving. I'm defensive living. Basically. Ooh, that's a good one. Basically. That's a t shirt. Defensive yeah. driving. I'm, yeah, come from Giz Mofa. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. No, uh, knowledge has been dropped. Man. There's <laughs> <laughs> a little graphic up there. Right. But anyway, um, yeah, y'all fucking up the streets, man. Like, yeah, quit fucking shooting. I mean, I'll be at work just hearing the ambulance. Probably pronounced that wrong, but you know what I mean. The ambos, the police, sheriffs, all that shit. Just zooming past my damn job. Like, nigga, there ain't enough people in this damn small ass city for that many damn ambulances to be out there. The motherfuckers getting shot in car wrecks and all that shit. And every I time a motherfucker gets shot, it's all everybody, all of the good people. Mm-hmm. Everybody was a good guy. No, the fuck you, boy. Right. Oh, the fuck he nigga was a whole ass nigga and he knew a gun was close by. That's why mm-hmm. he got his ass shot. They wanted to pop off all that shit. And these police ain't gonna help your ass. Think about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got a gun, but you ain't gonna win your battle, all the battles. Just think if you get shot. You might get shot somewhere where you might have a bleed out. This is Dayton, Ohio, my nigga. You're not gonna get any police help for a good maybe two hours, depending on your location. <laughs> Unless they say it's, I hate to say it, white girl or something like that and that's been proven to me last week this white bitch sorry if you hear this but this white bitch <laughs> overdosed on fentanyl in my damn parking lot at my job they got her back breathing mm-hmm. yeah they had to pull her out the car and all that shit lay her in the cold and all that to uh try to get her going nobody she was with knew how to do cpr fucking innocent bystander had to come past you know what I'm saying give her cpr get her breathing again then the motherfucking police showed up I'm like I was kind of fucking quick just to get her back breathing again. Now, a couple months ago, my job got robbed. I called the police. I forgot what the fuck I called them for by the time they showed up. I'm like, damn, you got robbed? <laughs> Tell me about it. Like, oh, y'all did call y'all. Oh, God damn. I'm like, shit. So, yeah, that's that's same location, different situation. But the motherfuckers showed up like they was across the street on lunch break or something. Like so it depends on the situation. If they say a nigga shot in the hood, Nigga just shot in the hood, nigga. The ambo ain't gonna show up. It's gonna be the corner with some sheets. Some bullshit. Man. Nah. It ain't like this. I understand what you were saying, but the situation, all right, motherfucker stole my bitch car. We chased the motherfucker. She crashed that bitch. And she started ODing. Mm. In the process of police putting everything together, this whole ass officer go ask me, was those my drugs in the vehicle? This white bitch is literally overdosing over here on the ground. And you have the nurse come ask me if that's my drugs that she's OD'd on. She had to get up from somewhere and you're the closest there. <laughs> Bro, I had the biggest, shittiest smile on my face. I went off on that motherfucker. Mm. Like, bitch ass nigga, this bitch literally OD'ing over here and you gonna come ask me if they're my drugs. The bitch stole the car. She's a fucking dope head. She white girl. And you still trying to make it seem like she ain't. Fucking dope head. Like, we're bitch. not 
We're not bashing white women. We're actually telling all the black men, get a white woman. If you need, <laughs> if you need to feel like an actual citizen and get proper police support, get you a white girl. Like, hey, I just had to shoot my four niggas and my white girl. Whoop, whoop. Before you even finish the statement, they write that a white girl. Like, yeah, white girl was there and I was out protecting her. Everybody. On the ground. On the ground. <laughs> like, dead ass serious. So we ain't bashing the Caucasian persuasion. So... Don't get that twisted. We're not bashing anybody, really. really. It's just the way shit goes, man. Yeah, we just niggas from the block with it. Education is experience, <laughs> nigga. We speaking. <laughs> we gave y'all two real live situations that happened. That so happened. it ain't actual. It's, it's what they say, facts. It's facts, no cap. Actual factual. <laughs> facts, facts, no cap, nigga. Actual factual. Speaking of no caps, change the subject. So when uh, this nigga got dreads. I don't. But when you. What do you think you're gonna cut your shit completely off? All the real fans know <laughs> that like and subscribe our videos. <laughs> <laughs> they know you got dreads, man. Shit, uh, remember back in, man, when we was young, I said, I ain't gonna never cut my hair. Mm-hmm. And then once I get tired of getting fresh brains, I was gonna get dreads. Yeah. And then now that I have dreads, I don't plan on cutting them until. They just look fucked up. If I start, my hairline start receding, I start getting bald spots and shit, that's when I go straight 187. Yeah, that hairline is a good indicator when it's time to go. Yeah. So I, I seen niggas' hairline start right here, and they got dreads. They got, hairline start right here, and they got an inch baby hair type thing, and they got dreads. Like, oh, the dreads are pulling my hairline. Nah, nigga. That's nature. <laughs> niggas be getting a hair cut like that. I don't if you could put more than three fingers from your hairline to your dread, that's too much space. That's too much space. So eventually you're gonna have to grow that shit back. It's gonna go rag. Yeah. My hairline is boom and my dreads start boom. See that shit? My dreads start right there. See what I'm saying? And pretty soon y'all gonna have to start proving y'all got real dreads out here. Cause niggas is doing two pays. I see the nigga with the with the braids on top and the fade at the bottom. I see the nigga with some stick on shit. Like, ooh, y'all doing too fucking much out here, bro. But why can't men do what females do on the hair side? Uh, you can do it. A uh, man can do anything a female can do besides I give birth, but it's what you're going to be looked at. <laughs> well, how the people going to look at you? You get into a scuffle and the whole scalp go on. They're going to be like, <laughs> they going to be scared as hell. Like, they just scalp this nigga up. What the fuck? This nigga got extra good chips. <laughs> shit, that'll stop a whole fight. They're like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, just sit there and run like, <laughs> like some barbarian and shit. <laughs> I won the battle. <laughs> Got a whole niggas whole two pages swinging and shit. Niggas like, oh shit. <laughs> they got the line where the shit gonna hold his head. <laughs> Man, <laughs> y'all motherfuckers need to cut it out, bro. <laughs> Hey, that I, I chick said if I ever wanted to cut my dreads, save them, and she could crochet them bitches back, and I won't have to go through the short period. I'm like, I'm not going through all that. I, I, yeah, I don't think that shit is, I think that shit is like, it's the same as getting too paid. Maybe you're getting fake hair put in your shit. Yeah. You know, in your hair, let's get it attached. Right, right. Like, yeah, it was sold back home and shit. Yeah, that don't seem too right. That's somebody getting some bumbles put in your shit. I did have a chick ask me to, uh, Put some some temporary dye on my shit just to see what it look like. I'm like, nah, I ain't that type of person. You somebody got blonde shit you put on the tips or something? I don't know. I ain't even getting to that conversation. I just <laughs> said, I, she said you want to put some temporary dye in her just to see if you look different. No, I don't want to dye my shit. I don't want to have a blonde red and the rest of my shit black. I don't want to color none of my shit. You don't want the blonde king blonde look. Yeah, I don't want to be uh-huh. not looking like Dirk or none of them niggas, you know what I'm saying? That's the key, yeah, that's the king. But all blind is Dirk, that little blind shit, that's King Von. And he got yeah. that shit trademark right there. He got the motherfucking, what they call them brownies, the blonde and chocolate brownie look. <laughs> now he's not as fucked up, might like a brownie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I ain't calling no niggas no brownies, nigga. I'm talking about the color. If you mm-hmm. know what brown and chocolate brownies look like, nigga, that's what some of these niggas dreads be looking like. We had brownie sticks. Yeah. I can't do it because of the process, but we've been through that shit already. I just say put no color in my dress, you know what I'm saying? I can't do it. I tried to dress shit. It's too damn hot. But salute to all y'all and showing y'all knowledge and all that shit. I was just asking because I'm getting older, like I said. I'm getting older. 
and I'm starting to measure my fucking hairline. So that motherfucker started getting back, 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 or further, further, further. I'm like, oh, I gotta get the barber saw and them chillets. Get the shaving it off. Cause I ain't gonna be one of them. I ain't gonna have the horseshoe. You see them videos when they be showing up uh, before and after when females be getting their teeth and hair done and makeup. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers be looking like straight Halloween masks at the before. They like get, gorilla. Then they get. <laughs> I say it. God damn it. The bitch didn't show up for the show anyway. So y'all shouldn't be like, oh, that nigga, nigga, she ain't show up to dating anyway. But I heard that she's a dude. And her and Bow Wow brothers. <laughs> 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 That's what I heard. Her and little Bow, her and little Bow Wow and uh, Lil Ma are all brothers. Yeah. That's what I heard. That's, that bitch got a strong ass. She, she got the what uh teenage boy body. Hey, for real. <laughs> I heard right, that's right. You never know. Nowadays, like lashes and some lip gloss. Hey, I ain't taking nothing from her, you know what I mean? Her beats is beaten. They said like, she's the first unisex rapper. Like men can <laughs> no, no, dead ass. They say does men can vibe to her and women can listen to her. So I guess she ain't all pussy dick, pussy dicks. Mm -hmm. So oh, I ain't never heard. Of That's what I'm that. saying. Like if dope shit. I can mute that. I can mute some of them lyrics she got and them beats she be having is hard. Them motherfuckers be be knocking nigga. Like I can't. I wouldn't say can't, but I don't listen to Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. And I don't really listen to female rappers like that because I can't relate. Just yeah. like some R and B songs, I just don't listen to because I can't relate. But her beats, motherfuckers beat. You know what's so crazy? I can't think of fucking three little Kim songs. Except for a crush on you shit. And I can't think of saying that. Yeah. Say yeah. We just look at our pictures. Everybody, we all know our songs, but I know that one picture. Little Kim put a whole that generation of niggas through puberty. <laughs> Her and TLC. I'm, I got stories. <laughs> but we got episodes for that, so we yeah. wait on that. Right. <laughs> and the female rappers. You know, they said Lil' Kim was the one that uh, started the sexy female rappers type mm, shit. Her and Foxy Brown. But well, I think, she was, I think Kim started first. Yeah, the outlandish shit. Yeah, Kim was the one that, that yeah. had the ratchet prettiness. Yeah, she started out just a dope boy girlfriend type shit. Then she went to all that pink and all that. Mm -hmm. Kind of turned it out. Foxy oh. Brown, she was... <laughs> she was that street. thing. Yeah, the street. That was my bitch. Yeah. Foxy okay. Brown, did she go deaf? Yeah, but I heard she got surgery. She lost her hearing. Yeah, let me, I'll tell you like this. Foxy Brown is the only reason I listen to Jay-Z. Because that Sunshine video she had on that red see-through dress. Man. I watched that video so many times I started liking the song. <laughs> then he made that damn Streets is Watching shit. And I'm like, okay, nigga made movies. Yeah. So, yeah. well, for Foxy Brown, I probably won't fuck with Jay-Z. But that's how that shit goes. A million. What's that? What's that? What's she a rapper to? I think I'm gonna, am I saying her name right? Light skin, I mean, what? long, long black hair. That's Cardi B. <laughs> 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 a million, a mil, a mil, a mil from a mil. Uh, Rockefeller back in the day. They ain't no Cardi B with ass shots. That's all she did. She oh, got man. fake titties and fake ass. They did sound kind of. They do sound like them. Yeah, they don't start no. rumors like a motherfucker. No, but, no, hey. no, they do sound like. <laughs> I ain't even peeped that. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since Cardi B came out, that bitch sounds familiar. That's her sister or something. Something, yeah. Something. Even an interview sound like her. Like, Man. So you can never know. The female MCs like Gangster Boo. Gangster Boo was fine too from the South, but she. They just gave her. Deck. They gave her her flowers now. They're saying that she uh, ran so others can walk. And then the gangsta female rap shit. Yeah. Her and Lil Chat. They yeah. still out here. Her and Lil Chat. Lil Chat. Yeah. Six Mafia had a squad though, nigga. Oh, they still got a squad. Chat and Gangsta Boo, they came out with some hot shit. Mm -hmm. I listen to them more than any of the other female rappers. Yeah, because they talking about real shit. You know, like, you believe real streets of Memphis. Memphis. Yeah, but yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, damn, uh, Mia X, she retired. She a chef. She ain't, doing, she ain't doing no more damn mm -hmm. shows, but she made her point. You know Biggest I mean? mama, Mama Mia. Yeah, uh, you wouldn't even think she looked the way she looked with it, the way she sounded when she rapped. But then when you see it, it makes sense. Yeah. She be her phone. Everybody got that auntie about this tall, wig always shaking, talking shit. <laughs> yeah, that's her. But yeah. <laughs> that's it. Mama me. Yeah, for real. <laughs> talking that shit with a with a something on her. Yeah. But yeah, it ain't the female music ain't the same like used to. I actually know. Remy Ma. Remy Ma. Yeah, Remy Ma. Is she doing some things. She didn't look she didn't look bad to me till recently. 
Like she, she always was cute. She always had the cute face, you know what I'm saying? I ain't look at her like, you know, I ain't really pay attention to her. But now, here recently, I'll be like, for the last, what, couple years, I'm like, yeah, damn. Why the hell is a motherfucker? That's a motherfucker. I don't know, it's that, it's that dark skin with the white teeth, and she got a little, the real body. And she's yeah. showing that motherfucker off, but... Yeah, her, 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 her husband might not be about to rap you though, so. Man, he can retire. I'm sorry. If it wasn't for, uh, nah, I'm fucking for. Well, let me watch it. I can't say that shit. But why is all these female rappers putting me on to these motherfucking well, men rappers? But they ain't, uh, they haven't fucked with Pat Poo since back in the day, so I can't say that shit. Right. She was just, she street, street, street. Rhapsody. She a fine she, motherfucker though. Rhapsody, she doing shit. She's doing some sexy lyrics and shit. I don't know if she intentionally being sexy, but <laughs> you're being sexy. <laughs> Rhapsody, I think that's her damn name. I hope I say it right. I can't really, it, I ain't really fucking with too many new school, new style rap, uh, female rappers. Cause the shit just, that's about, yeah, that's about it. I don't know. Like I heard a verse from Cardi B on somebody else's song and she was going in, but can't really listen to it. Can't really listen to that shit. Shout out to Candy Bars. Oh, I hope that's her rap name. But Candy Bars. Candy Bars. Candy. She's Candy. a female rapper from Dayton. She, mm-hmm. yeah, bars. Like she well, says some shit. She from Dayton. She always got a Halloween cipher going on. I follow her on Facebook and all that shit. She got a uh, podcast called uh, I think a Unicorn Talk. Yeah, Unicorn Talk. So she on there too. Look so, that up. Check that out. Yeah, Candy Bar. So shout out to her. I seen her at work one day and I almost froze up. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Come and get your autograph. <laughs> she was with her son and shit. But she be joking around and all that bullshit, like making it real. She told she said, be real, be real. Yeah. So yeah. shout out to her. There's a few other ones out here, but she the one sticking out. Yeah, I can't. I don't really listen to too much. New shit, no way. You even have a list of people like, like back in the day, you had your female rapper, your thugging ass rapper, then your your lyricist, then you had your straight talent rapper. Now everybody yeah. has just a dope part of auto tune. Like if you had somebody, like how far down the list would a female be on your top whatever list of rappers? How how long has the list got to be for you to put your first female rapper on there? And who would be before her, the first one? I don't know. I don't think. Queen Latifah would be like in my 30. Queen, La- Queen Latifah would be like, would be in my top 30. They different though. Like, But they would still they, shit. They got, they got my respect and they ain't even got to be on the list. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because they just, I don't know. They just, they created the shit. They started out, you know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure it's a couple more. Female artists before them, but they the ones that laid the tracks down for them to ride on this motherfucking ride. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of female groups before them. You know what I'm saying? Like JJ yeah. Fad and all that. Yeah. Who had a whole little sound together, like Bone Thugs and Harmony type shit. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they sound the same on yeah. live and on the fucking track. Yeah, but they came out. You know what I'm saying? Queen Latifah and, 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 and uh, MC Light came out with a microphone and some words. They yeah. had matching outfits. They had, uh, this is me, this is yeah. what I got to say. And you're um, going to listen to it because it was hot. Yeah, so, and you ain't never going to see neither one of them motherfuckers twerking. And they control the mic. That's what MC stand for, nigga. Mic controller, nigga. Yeah, so, they didn't do a versus with them two. That'd, that'd be, bring it, that'd bring that'd it back. Tight. What the fuck happened to verses anyway? I don't know. Hey, you hear, uh... Uncle Luke had to shut Fat Joe down for trying to say he uh and Fat Joe already responded to that shit. I didn't I didn't watch it, but he quick to that shit. But you know he he I don't know was, who you say he discovered uh Trick Daddy yeah Trick Daddy or something uh, like that. I don't know one, one of them one of them Florida things. Yeah, I don't see how uh nigga from Queens no Bronx nigga from Bronx, New York period can discover somebody from Miami, but. Hey, you never know. He said he, he, he discovered Pitbull, too. I think Uncle Luke was like, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you got to understand who Uncle Luke is, though. Yeah, that nigga, he, he damn near a little real mayor. You man, know what I'm saying? But the party man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he already he already responded to that shit. I, ain't, I didn't watch his video, but yeah, he already put something out there. Yeah. But 
Yeah, people be talking. He was had like a four hour interview. I seen that whole interview of Fat Joe. And uh, when he said that shit, it was like a four fucking hour interview. And like, he said all that shit was real, but you knew somebody's gonna come out with something. Like, nigga, yeah. gonna pluck something out that four hour interview at home. And, that ain't right. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. I don't know, this is that shit going on with him with a, going on with him with a Cuban link and all that. I don't know what's going on with that. I ain't know they beefing like that. Like seriously beefing about 50 and motherfuckers. All oh, that shit. I seen uh was it uh Big Blood and Son came out with a song talking about how he used to beat on him and shit. I'm like, man, come on man. Yeah, that's that's uh, trying to tarnish your dad's legacy. I understand you went through it with him, but goddamn. Yeah, it's a little too late, bro. It really is. <laughs> you know, I don't think you got to be. Oh, I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna keep that statement to my goddamn self. <laughs> but speaking of big pun, right? I was at work with some dude. We were talking, talking hip hop. You know what I'm saying? A nigga my age. He asked me who my top five. So I told him about an order: Fifty, Cam, Red Man, Jadakus, and uh, Big Pun. That's five, right? Yeah. He was like, "That's a solid five. He had to leave. He left and came back. Like, hold on. He said, this, 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 and this. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, that's a solid five. I'm like, yeah. Like, I grew up on this shit. I got an older brother. Was, uh, excuse me. He had a, um, listening to Dodge Effects and all that shit. So, I grew up on East Coast shit. Yeah. So, of course, I gravitate towards the East Coast music. Yeah, shout out to Dark P. He got me here to a lot of mm-hmm. East Coast music, too. And then that's when the mixtapes was hitting hard. The streets was hitting hard. The mixtapes was the shit. Yeah. I miss mixtapes, man. Some niggas still out here selling CDs outside liquor stores. I'm like, that's what's up. <laughs> like, who the fuck's still buying CDs? I don't know, but I don't even think cars come with CD players no more. I, yeah, I'm too scared to use mine. I'm like, no, that's a trap. That's what let the engine go out. So Bluetooth, nigga. Like, oh, real day. streaming. The same playlist, even though. You think they can come out with a mixtape with all the new artists and be banging? Nope, because Spotify tried and it's horrible. Horrible. What was it, rap caviar? That oh, shit is oh, horrible. Oh. Another thing that's fucking horrible is Drake and 21 Savage's album. Oh my god, that shit made me nauseous. Like, dude, why did y'all two niggas just make an album off some bullshit? Y'all ain't even vibing together. Man. So, we probably get some hate mail. Me, I probably get some hate mail from that shit. But it said Drake so uh, XX uh, Cadence. Could be. And, uh, you know. And get into some conspiracy shit on that, but one of his videos showed a nigga that looked like XX and the rock fell out the sky and killed him. But that's some other shit. Hey, they, they say Juice World is still alive. You believe that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he said that uh, it's a whole rabbit hole full of shit. We don't get into it. But yeah, yeah it's a whole, whole bunch, bunch of shit. A whole bunch of shit. They say he's still alive, he faked his death, and he dropped clues about it all through his. His albums and interviews and all that shit. So, I don't know. It's kind of a dream hunt. It really is. I mean, it's already laid out there now. Somebody did it. You gotta find a video. I was about to say, somebody on YouTube got that motherfucking yeah, part said, one, part two, part three. They said this nigga, it got so deep. They said this nigga's um, best friend or whatever. It's another rapper. Every song on his playlist, on his album, it spells out Juice World is the last song is alive. Yeah. I'm like, I remember seeing something like that. Yeah, like shit. Yeah, you know, but let's go spirit theories and all that shit. Back in the day, we just had the Elvis file. We thought Elvis was still alive. Then Tupac died. People thought Tupac was still alive. Biggie's mm-hmm. ass just dead. <laughs> they knew that nigga was dead. I'm like, damn, nigga ain't yeah. work walking around nowhere. But no conspiracy about that. It was over. Yeah, but now they're saying the nigga BMF niggas is the ones that killed Jam Master J. Well, had something to do with it. I don't know about that. I don't know. You watched the documentary about Jim Master J. I think it was a gangster. Yeah, he really right. that shit. Heard he was bully foot niggas. Yeah, I thought I thought that was an act, sir. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. just mushing niggas down the stairs, <laughs> knocking off that weed. Like, I don't know where that came from. I need to do your research. Hey, yeah. right? you see a crush room when LL came in there when he said no additions, nigga. He popped mm-hmm. up and was about to grab a burger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I thought that was an act. Right? I ain't no idea. Was out here slinging and banging like that. Right. <laughs> so, hey. That's new shit always come out. Uh, what the fuck else happened? That's what they were saying on one of the little interviews that I was watching. They was talking about how uh, rappers are not mysterious or, you know, uh, stars or public folks, they, they ain't mysterious no more because of Instagram and social media. Like, no you, you never know what type, you know, they put the image out of their music mm-hmm. and 
you believe that's who they are back in the day because we didn't have social media and shit like it is now. Like, you listen to a motherfucking shit now, you watch their social media, and they're a whole ass nigga, you not gonna listen to them no more because you're like, a whole ass nigga. Ooh, it is a straight mark. I'm not listening to this nigga no more. But mm-hmm. back in the day, you would listen to a motherfucker and believe that's who they are because you mm. you didn't follow them on social media. You had to read their fucking interviews and the source and get picked, get yeah. picked what the hell they like, oh, this is they look at the interviews and all that shit, so Yeah. Yeah, we really had to do work back in the day in the eighties and nineties, man. That shit was more interesting too. But you knew you didn't really know who you was fucking with. And then when you go see them at a concert, that's what made their concerts and shit more like live right? you just look at a nigga's social media, find out where they at. It, they you put up on you. Yeah, they put too much out there for the public, and that's how niggas be losing sales and shit. Yeah, just to show you how one thing that happened that we wish we seen on camera, uh, y'all probably don't know the fuck. Pastor Troy and C Murder. They said C Murder showed up in this nigga's concert. He about to <laughs> drag this nigga off stage and whoop this piece of shit out of the wrong nigga. Good. <laughs> we always hear this story. He said, beat the shit out of the wrong nigga. It wasn't Pastor Troy, but he got the message. Right. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. murder one nigga not to fuck with. Yeah, all that shit happened off camera. That's my generation. Mm-hmm. But did you see, uh, I think your boy, Fulio, and the other nigga that, that played that, did that Who I Smoke song. Oh, uh, Young and Ace. They homies ran to another nigga, his homeboy, ran to Fulio's homie I was lacking. Oh my god, they had to blur out. <laughs> they had to blur out what happened to that nigga, bro. They, they said they stomped that nigga almost beating to death. See? So, like, okay. it's just real in the streets. Yeah, they, he was sitting there with his arms and his hoodie and all that shit. Like, he was like, man, say fuck, uh, I guess it's fuck his dad homie. He was like, you know what I'm about to say? He was like, pulling out his arms, trying to reach for the nigga with a gun, and he started screaming, nigga. All he seen was a blur and clothes over. moving. It was over. Shut up, nigga. In front of traffic, though. Ain't no. I don't think gonna help your ass out there, but like you said, the social media shit is fucking me up. Social media, bro. Like, you up the game. Just think if we had, like, the way the social media is now back in the day with the real thorough niggas. Mm-hmm. Bro, it would have been so much more shit going on. Our social media was a bitch <laughs> in, the, at the, in, the, in the hood. Right. Like, send a bitch to that nigga. It's probably everything you need to know. Bring barbershop. Mm, barbershop. Barbershop shit. Yeah. You can go to Kona Stone. Cold stove, shooting dice type shit. Yeah, man, you heard what happened to Jesse? Nightclub, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was over there in Madame Zenobius. <laughs> <laughs> and they laid everybody down. Cuba here everywhere. <laughs> they had everybody down to the draw. <laughs> he made some fine ass wings out of Zenobius. You got your five feet, Jack? Man, that was the last taste in his mouth, man. Wing big box. <laughs> 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 Hell no, yeah. The fucking yeah. world is fucking changing and I don't like the way it's fucking going. Yeah. Like we said, we got the merchant of death out here with mother making plans. Making plans. He about to be moving shit around, bro. Mm, real shit. But social media, bro. Yeah, which we're on. So we're trying to make it better. Make social media better. I can make some hacks. I'm trying to do a thumbs up. I just hate the way people... What, what make me not like social media is because you know people... You know, once they get a certain following, they start feeling themselves. Mm-hmm. So they feel they got to carry themselves a certain way and be extra. And that shit be annoying. Like a motherfucker mm-hmm. hop on and say, oh, I had a good night's sleep. Get 900 likes. Mm-hmm. And then a motherfucker that's actually dropping knowledge and get two likes. What kind of shit is that? It's yeah. just it's yeah. fucked up. Like I said, you got to keep grinding with your fan base. Or y'all motherfuckers, we get like 100 or something views. But you get two likes, you got yeah. 30 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Hit the goddamn button. Okay, shit, man. Man. Help your boy. All you got to do is hit the like button. Help your boys out. Man. We, had, we got t-shirts and shit. We trying to sell. Not the 30 motherfuckers, though. Man, for real. For real. <laughs> shit. We put yeah. in work, man. <laughs> yeah, this is season four. <laughs> God damn it. Shit. But we gonna keep rolling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, keep it going. As you can tell, you know, it's been a while. But you know, what they say ass tea makes the heart grow fonder or something like that. Hey, we so, gonna, uh, don't. We gonna start doing some extra shit too. Yep, we gonna start doing some shit because the shit to do. The LJ and Gizmo uh, films is on the way. Dead ass serious thing. It's, yeah. it's in the works. So yeah. We got a lot of shit coming up. Uh, any, um, what, the taste lights coming up? Nope. 
Nah, <laughs> not right now. You know what I'm saying? I want to uh, do this fucking hot chip challenge, nigga. I would do it if we get 100 it. subscribers. I ain't fucking with it. I ain't even tried. I ain't even checked to see how we subscribe. Gummy no bears, no noodles, no nothing. I ain't fucking with it. Fuck that. I'll do the hot chip challenge. That one chip, I'll do it. Fuck it. Give me 100, $100 or 100 subscribers. You gotta have a hundo in there somewhere. Hey, festival's going on. I might do it. Uh, no, I might slide into a festival or some shit. I might go uh, to Clifton Mills and do a little lightning and all that, you know. Man, we had Christmas a, lights and shit. We had a Children's Day parade and the motherfucker bust off in here because his bitch was getting stuffed out. That's the only festival we had. They put a light the tree up downtown. Good shot. <coughs> this nigga's bitch was getting her damn edges ripped off. <laughs> downtown in front of everybody. Five or six that she had left. You know how, yeah, you know how bad it is to get your ass whooped in silence that nobody knew. <laughs> in, a, in a parade. Like she was just getting this. <laughs> yeah, that nigga yeah. breathing. Yeah, that's all you smack it. Yeah. Then a nigga busts off in the air and motherfuckers just said, oh, we gonna cancel it. <laughs> that's the only festival we had. But other than that, you might have some New Year's Eve, but I don't know, but I don't know, that shit do it in the city. Talk shit about it. Yeah, I, speaking of not doing nothing in the city, uh, where I do my little side hustle with my security job or whatever, one of the dudes came, he was like, oh, I'm from California, and I just, he was trying to find somewhere to go hang out. Yeah. I said, go back to Cali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought I was playing. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm not playing, bro. Shit, you yeah. are not gonna find nothing. Go on the best, best wings and scavenger hunt. That's the best thing you gonna do. He was like, find the best he, wings in the He like, I go to the grocery store and I see more bad bitches than I do around here. I said, yeah, that's how it is. Yeah. Exactly how it is. There's some of y'all bitches out here, you can tell y'all visiting. Cause y'all trying to make a nigga change his life. Yes, I'm married, <laughs> but I get, you know what I'm saying? But y'all, I can tell y'all from out of town. That ain't Ohio built. Well, it ain't Dayton built. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want some other shit. You know I ain't gonna say nothing about nothing about that. But yeah, you better head up on body here. I gotta go make some money. I gotta go <laughs> get my shit get right. But uh, like and subscribe. Uh, we gonna upload when the fuck we want to. Uh, but we got other shit coming up, so we working on that. So we got we got four seasons of this shit. Some of y'all might be new, so y'all got time to catch up and watch all that shit. Yeah. Uh, YouTube is fucking with our quality of our videos, I think. That's why I've been all fucked up lately, so. It's just weird. Yeah, it'd it be crisp and I upload it and it should look all fucked up, so. We're trying to fix that. Um, shit, we always fuck with y'all before the end. Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, New Year's. Happy New Year's, right. Hanukkah, uh, Kwanzaa. Or happy holidays. Um, once again, we're not bashing anybody. Um, and for you young motherfuckers, if you have an opportunity to say, think about it, do it. Don't okay. just don't just let your homie be rowdy and go out here and fuck his life up. Actually, speak some life into his motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if something popping off, take seven deep breaths before you fucking react. Yeah. Cause like seven, that's what they say. One little, one little situation can just fuck up everything. All you had to do is say something to somebody. Just, I ain't mm. saying snitch on them or nothing, but talk to your boy. Mm. You know your homie more than anybody else. Just speak up. Don't yeah, just yeah. let a motherfucker go fuck his life up. All right. So we'll, we'll get up out of here. We'll see y'all next time. This is Gizmo from Block Integrity. It's your boy LJ. All right. We out this bitch. Peace.